Hi everybody, Mona Kiani, Inglisi Farsi Studios, bringing you the fourth book in our series, Under the Sea, Zira Daria. Um, and this book is really all about the water, water play, um, and the activities and animals associated with um, water play. And this really came about um, because we lived on the coast in Perth, Western Australia, um, and that's where my son grew up, and I really wanted to be able to describe these words to him in my mother tongue and my language fell short, unfortunately, not anymore. Um, so what I did was develop these series and this book in particular was for any water associated play because I love the beach, I love the river, and I love the animals that reside in those areas and found it really difficult to be able to pronounce or actually articulate those words to him. That's my daughter just playing there with the <laughs> walker, don't mind that noise. Um, I've got two children, a, a five-year-old son and a um, seven-month-old daughter and she's just in the background there. Um, so Inglisi Forestie made this under the sea because she, I really wanted to describe these things to my son and I guess the best way to utilize these books is to read them with your children. Obviously some kids can sit through a whole book depending on their age and others just require one or two every day. I find um, recurrence and uh, repetitive exposure the most useful. So using them in your everyday language, um, ob, ob, bazi, shen, um, and then going through the animals as you see them. Also in your everyday life, I mean, if you're going to the beach today, you know, you say, okay, what animals live in the beach? What or what do we see here? And your shen, and your um, ob, and try and just repeat those words um, regularly in your conversations. Um, in Persian, obviously, um, and uh, continue to expose them to that um, word recollection so that they also are able to um, recount those words later in life. <laughs> um, so some of the examples of the words are like mahi, which is fish, um, il, which is mar mahi, and what I've tried to do is group these words together, the ones that are similar sounding. So mar mahi, mahi, um, uh, different words like um, where is it? Uh -huh. Aspidarii, um, which is also horse, um, which is the water horse. So there's a lot of words that are used that have two words that you might recognize, but together have a different meaning. Um, and these words are actually really fun to play with and um, sort of uh, make fun of a little bit with your kids. Um, and they make uh, learning a bit more enjoyable for everyone. Um, I really like this page of Obbozi. Um, and that talks about water and water play. So that's really the basis of this whole book is um, making water play fun and interactive. And what you can do is read this to your child and then repeat those words later in, in the day or the week to reinforce the learning. Um, obviously some restrictions apply now to um, where we can go and what we can do, but if we live close to the beach, you can definitely apply these um, words to your surroundings. Uh, thank you for your time. Like, share, comment, any ideas of how to best use our resources. I'd love to hear or see them in action. Persian, pass it on.